good morning students in the last video i have discussed with you how the pollination occur by wind abiotic agent now today i will discuss the second abiotic agent that is pollination by water right now only 30% plants is pollinated by water that is monocots clear most of the monocots in this 30% pollinated by water plants should have light weight pollens clear now if the plants are pollinated by water their pollen grains should be light in weight clear now if pollen grains are carried by the water from anther to stigma of the another flower of different plant then we call it hydrophily again i repeat what is hydrophily hydrophily means if pollen grains are carried by water from one plant to another means flower of one plant to the another flower clear now examples are valisneria joster stratophyllum and hydrilla clear so these are some of the examples of hydrophily means in these plants pollination occur by water clear now if pollination occur by water then it is of two type one is hypohydrophily now what is hypohydrophily hypohydrophily means it occurs below the surface of water means the flowers will remain below the surface means wo surface ke upar nahi aate beta surface ke niche touch karte hain niche rehte hain and we call such type of flowers or such type of pollination hypohydrophily clear the example is joster and ceratophylla these are the plants in which flowers remain below the surface of the water they will not come above the surface right and second is epihydrophily now in case of epihydrophily it occurs over the surface of water means the flowers will come above the surface of water clear and then with the help of water pollination occurs example is valisneria and hydrilla now i just show you how in valisneria that uh, pollination occurs by water now diagram is given in your book let's see that now this is the valisneria plant clear you can see in this plant one is pistillate flower clear and they are having the long stalk they come above the surface of water right and second is you can see the staminate flower which is below the water surface now they will raise the pollen grains they will move and with the help of water currents the female flower is get pollinated right so this is how the valisneria plant is pollinated by water the flowers will come on the surface and male plant uh, sorry male flower that is staminate flower will remain within the or under the surface and produce the pollen grains clear so this is how hypohydrophily and epihydrophily occurs right two more plants are there which will grow in water means the plants are aquatic example is water hyacinth and water lily which is given in your book now these plants are no doubt found in water clear uh questions related to these two plants beta came in the neat exam also now how it is different they are aquatic plants again i repeat water hyacinth and water lily but in these flowers uh, these plants sorry flowers emerge above the level of water means pani ke kafi upar aa jate hain flowers and are pollinated by wind or insect not by water clear beta they are no doubt found in water which examples water hyacinth and water lily but these flowers are pollinated by the normal land plants and they are pollinated by wind and insect clear now if we see in sea grasses this example is also given in your book female flower remains submerged clear as i have given the example this is also given so you can find this example comes under the uh, which type hypohydrophily or you can come epihydrophily under which category this comes you find it sea grasses clear now the main thing that all these plants which produces pollen grains 
they remain in water but they will never be decayed or damaged you can see now what is specific about their pollen grains they are having one protective mucilage covering so this is the specific features of those plants which are pollinated by water clear now so with this the pollination by water is over next i will discuss the next topic in the next video okay beta thanks and have a nice day